you talk a lot on your page about financial freedom, which is also something that I'm really passionate about. And recently you announced that you quit your job to be mm -hmm. a full-time entrepreneur. So mm -hmm. my question is like, why, when did financial freedom become such a passion of yours or like, why is it so important to you? Well, for several reasons. So I started that personal finance journey like January of last year when I gave up the music industry. And I just did that for myself because I figured like I have to know how to manage money. Like it's one thing to earn money, but then you also have to learn how to manage money and you have yes. to learn how to grow your money. Um, and so that's what I wanted to learn. I wanted to, you know, be a millionaire. So I'm like, I got to learn money. It was a very opportune time because it was like right before the pandemic happened. And I was already starting to understand that multiple streams of income is like where it's at. Like millionaires, yeah. they have multiple ways of making money. They don't just rely on one source of income. They don't just rely on their nine to five. And so I didn't want that for me. I wanted security. I wanted assets. I wanted you know, cash flow. And so that's the that's the journey I went on. And then I think when the pandemic happened, it just really reinforced the ideas that I already had. Like, it really shed light on you cannot be reliant on one source of income, one person to pay you like you got to figure it out. If it's a side hustle, if it's like you're reselling clothes, if you're flipping products, if you're a consultant on the side like if you can do something to make more money do it <laughs> do it absolutely absolutely i think the pandemic we're gonna look at back at this time and i not back at it, i'm looking at it right now and, and acknowledging mm -hmm. how much of a great awakening it was and that your job can be gone like that and it was a great awakening can, yeah the government can literally tell you you can't work like that's wild N never would we ever have thought yep. that somebody could just tell us like you guys are staying home now <laughs> yes that's crazy um, yes. And so if you have something like you said, if you have multiple ways to provide for yourself, then no one can take that away from you, which I guess would be yes. the definition of freedom, something that you have for yourself that no one can take away from you. Yes. The the whole key is to have options, is to have different avenues, is to have security. And so that's what that's what freedom is. Like you you can make your own schedule, you can make your own decisions, you have choices. Um, and all of that really just comes with wealth. And I know a lot of people are like, well, I don't, I don't need a lot of money. But the thing is like money, money isn't like evil. Money isn't the problem. The problem is like the people that are hoarding it and you know, they're, they have a certain personality, but if you as a person get wealth for yourself, there's more that you can do for your community. You can give back more, you can donate to charity. You can take care of your friends and family. So I just look at it for that reason, like I want to have an impact on people around me. Um, mm -hmm. And that's really my, my, uh, my reasoning for doing what I'm doing. That's great. Yeah, I think um, not to be religious, but the Bible <laughs> says the love of money is evil. So it's almost kind of like getting more so you can give more. And yeah, that energy, I think I think that energy attracts more abundance into your life. If you're like, I'm not here to, to own this, this is not mine. I'm just the the, the transition for it. I'm right. collecting it here so that I can redistribute it here. Uh, like you said, that, that's a, that's again, a, a beautiful way, a mental, a beautiful mentality to have so that you can mm -hmm. manifest abundance for yourself, but not just yourself, but for others. For others. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Truly. The more generous you are, the more generosity you get in return. Like it really works that way. So that's why I always try to give as much value as I can, even if it's just like social media, <laughs> for instance, like I try to yeah. give as much value as I possibly can, just so people can change their mindsets to believe me what's possible. Like I really truly believe we can get to six figures. Like you don't have to wait 40 years in a company before you have a six figure salary, right? So I'm just right. trying to shed light on what is possible for people so us millennials are like we're making more money because i don't know if you knew this like i found out this stat the other day that boomers have 51 percent of all the wealth in the world like 51 percent wow. millennials only have five percent we literally yeah. don't have money <laughs> we don't give us have that wealth. money yes and so now i'm just like i'm i'm an advocate now for everyone making more money yeah. Wow, that's nuts. Isn't that crazy? 51%? Yes. Millennials, what, five? 
five. Five. You know why? Because most of most millennials are like negative net worth. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hundred percent. The student <laughs> loans, credit card debt, like. We don't have a net worth yeah and it's really not our fault this is how things were set up like we just walked into this world we were all told to go to college we were all told you got to take out a loan but no one prepared us for making more money no one prepared us for the cost of living going nuts and wages barely moving an inch so i think neither of us are the type of person to take it like a victim mentality but Mm -hmm. it also is just like an awareness of the situation and the just the societal pressure at the time. There wasn't even really like Instagram as it is now at that time, especially for me, like when I was entering college or like coming into the world, it was very much the information that was just at my fingertips was what, you know, we had available to us. So I think what I appreciate now is that there's an abundance of woke information and uh, avenues for you to understand, like you don't have to do this, you don't have to do this, you have all these options in between, you know, so there's more information available to everyone. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I agree. That was one of the things I also did when I first started this page is that I was very intentional about who I followed, because I wanted to have that mindset that was going to constantly motivate me. Like if I'm just scrolling down my timeline, I'm seeing motivational quotes. I'm seeing people making money with their digital products. I'm seeing people getting to their first six figures. Like I'm seeing all of these young people like making money. And so I want to be inspired by that. So I was very deliberate with who am I going to follow on this page? What type of information am I taking in on a daily basis? That's going to help me be the person I want to be. Right. Absolutely. I think if you're looking at your Instagram or your social media, it should be like a source of inspiration to you. It should be where you go for excitement and I'm competitive. So if I, if I'm on there and I'm seeing people winning, I'm like, all right, let's win. I want to win too. Let's all win. Yeah, I (laughs) agree. I think, I think we all need that. Like we need a little cleanse. We have to be aware of like, what are we really taking in, in our daily lives? Like who is around us? Are they motivating us? Are we going to be the person that we want to be around them? Who do I follow on socials? Is it just a bunch of like funny memes and I'm really just not doing anything with it? I'm not feeling good with Mm -hmm. it. Like you have to start taking a step back and really looking at the bigger picture like who is around you what are you taking in because if you want to be a millionaire you got to be really intentional (laughs) about it intentional yes that's a great word 